Okay, so it is Thursday morning, 8.12. You can see on the watch. Uh, that at this R22 system at a Taj Mahal, and we're getting everything disassembled. We'll be putting in a Bosch. So I already isolated our hydronic coil. We drained down. I pulled the Schrader and we drained from there. Now uh, we're gonna try to cut, see if we could save those ball valves, and then uh, see if we get this unit out of here once I can identify which circuit we're on on the breaker panel. We got our hydronic coil cut there and right there. Uh, pulled the blower out, couldn't find the breaker here. So um, it is what it is, but. I'm gonna see, I may have turned off the recovery machine outside. Make sure that's still recovering. Okay, so we're still recovering. Pulled out six pounds of R22 refrigerant. So we'll let that pull into a vacuum. And we'll take this off the running condenser. So here's our recovery process. We're pulled up to negative uh, 11 now. We were at zero and it had uh, stopped. So it had pulled negative and then gone back up. So now I'm hitting it again to pull negative just to make sure we pull absolutely everything out of the lines. It, again, it's R22. This is the stuff we don't want in the atmosphere. I mean, not that we want any of it in it. But uh, yeah, once this is done, we can cut out that coil and get the new equipment in place, hopefully. And I'm not sure whether or not I mentioned it, but I did pull out our Schrader cores to make the recovery process faster. Uh, I know we were at about six pounds, uh, but our scale probably lost at zero because it timed out. We'll see. Yeah, but we were at uh, 24 gross weight, so we're still at about that six pounds, so. Uh, we went from 24 gross weight to 30 gross weight. So this tank's also almost full. So we got this loose out of its place and we should be able to separate this off the return and just get it right out of here. So we'll try to do that. But it looks like there's a lot of room to work with, but we're gonna be real close with our new equipment on uh, sizing. We may have to cut back on the duct work. Okay, so old units out, and this is our new box, which we're gonna have to put an 18 inch self stick on right here and cut a hole and get our unit on and see how much room we have to work with. And Peter is cutting that box for the 18 inch takeoff. We got all our, our new equipment unboxed, got all our garbage put together. Try to keep it neat. It's a five ton, condenser with a four ton air handler. We can reduce the tonnage on this in the uh, control board with the flip of a switch. So it's pretty big equipment. Um, and I'm really hoping that we could get the, uh, the air handler in nicely and not too much of a pain with our new hydronic coil. We had a transition made as well. I'll show you and that. as always, transition fits perfectly. It is from uh, All Island Sheet Metal in uh, wind inch. And then this top section is 20 by 20 with the one inch flange. So the outside is 22 by 22. And that's gonna perfectly line up with the new hydronic coil. So this is awesome. And it also gives us full access to the wiring here rather than having just a giant piece go from here to here, when you actually just take it off of the, the opening, it makes it not only look better, but easier to work on. Okay, so I'm on top of this tree. We separated it and we got the condenser through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so here's the indoor unit. The electrician ran a 240 line and we're keeping a 120 outlet here. Um, but I'm going to do the pipe wiper now. 
We can see our yeah. top board fits nicely. No, it'll give it a little bit of a this is a flex. It's gonna have a little edge on it, so. like a half an inch or something. We have a fan here rigged up to an outlet to bring us some air into the boiler room because it's so hot in there. But I'm going to get ready with the so light. So right now the electrician showing me this uh, circuit tracer by Ideal. I kind of want one, but I'm holding uh, the leads up. There's power on this, so I'm not moving. I'm just keeping it stable. And he's, he's going to find the breaker with his other little piece from this and then turn it off. But it tells you with that middle light indicator that tells you whether or not you have voltage present. So this thing's pretty cool. Um, I blew the lines out with the wiper. You can see I still got it hooked up till the till it ran clean of oil. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show making the bends. And I have a measuring tape out because I know I need 12 inches of straight to where I'm gonna breeze into the house. So if I have that set for 12 inches, I'm gonna add a little bit extra so that I have room to make, make a mistake and I can always cut it off after. I usually use the ground for leverage on like 7 8 lines, so uh, tough. And it's a metal bender, so it'll be fine. Copper or not, there may be ripples here, but in this instance, instance there's no ripples. Um, and take a look. Oh wow, I, I'm like right at about 14 inches on my length. So I have to do the same going down. So I'm gonna get that lined up. That one I don't have room for error. I would have to be at exactly 12. So, getting that lined up.
this works. Being wary of their two massive dogs. But I asked her to keep them inside, so hopefully she does do that. But this will be going right here. And it looks like it's gonna work out. I just gotta cut it to uh, be able to fit it in there. And for our swage, I have the Hillmore swaging tool. You just pop it in there and pump with your hands. Hopefully you can see it's starting to swage. And you keep going so you can't go anymore. It's a little bit tough with this larger line. But that's it. We're maxed out. Hit this little green lever down pull it out and we get a nice swage with no splits in it nice and straight so it's nice I like that a lot okay and there's our bend so we'll get the nitrogen hooked up to uh, purge and then we can brace it in okay so it's already two o'clock and we don't have the system hooked up for a pressure test or a vacuum so I gave up on trying to make it look fantastic i just need to get it connected at this point i'm gonna pressure test it and hook up the vacuum and hopefully we can be out of here soon because i do have a call after this but we'll see what happens okay so we have a positive pressure difference so i'm dumping it and I can hook up the, I'm gonna let it purge for a little bit and then I'll hook up the vacuum and wire an electric. Okay, so the vacuum's hooked up with the true blue hoses and the micro gauge. I'm gonna open these valves, turn it on, the gas ballast is open. And hopefully we pull into a good vacuum at 1500 microns, I'll close it. Okay, I just got, or I ordered pizza for us. It's 217. I have the vacuum hooked up. I'm not sure what it pulled down to, but they just let the dogs out. So I'll check once they're inside, but yeah, that was annoying. Both the big dogs came over and started barking and running towards us. Okay, so. We're at 86 microns right now. Uh, we'll let it keep going while I wire up inside. Okay, so we're at 71 microns and we can get ready to start our decay test. Close these valves and the microns will jump up, but they'll go back down and we'll hit start decay test. And we'll see whether or not we pass. If we pass, I'll let the charge go into the lines and finish out, finish up the work out here. So we pass, hit finish and save, and I can uh, release the charge into the lines with a service okay. wrench. Now I am adding a pound of refrigerant to uh, make up for the line set that runs over this way, across, down, and then into the A into that basement room. Okay, so here's the outdoor unit all finished up. Um, and I just have to finish up with everything inside and cleaning up inside. Okay, so here's the indoor unit. I did some bends there. Ran a new condensate tube from a new condensate pump. Peter did the PVC drain lines into the pump. And all that's left is to actually turn the equipment on and run it in cooling. Okay, so I just kicked on the thermostat. Uh, the condenser is running. I can hear the uh, refrigerant moving. Uh, it is getting cool. Um, I tested the condensate pump. The trap is primed. So as long as we start cooling, we should be good to go. And our return error is 76. Our supply so far is 59. 
So we're definitely cooling well. I'll let it run for a little bit longer. I'll fill out the invoice and wrap it up. Okay, so I finished turn up. Left onto Shanks Lane. Um, I'm on my way right down to Avenue. a maintenance customer AC At not cooling. Side, so turn we'll right onto Everett Avenue. Um, then turn left onto Hewlett Lane. Okay, so thermostat flashing fault. Batteries are exploded. Doesn't need batteries though, because we have a common. I'm gonna actually jump out R, Y, and G. Okay, so I jumped it out and the fan immediately came on. This is a different condenser, but I believe this has a delay because it's a uh, green uh, prestige. So we'll wait a second and see if it turns on, or actually, I'll check the uh, status, but it may turn on by the time that I get uh, the impact on there. I knew it. As soon as I got here with the impact, it would be running and discharging some nice heat. So This is a nice one. Looks like so far it's just going to be the thermostat, um, which is great. Very happy. Okay, so that was nice. A little bit frustrating uh, because he has two heats. He has emergency heat, he has heat pump, and he has uh, cooling. So there was just a lot, a lot of wiring and all the thermostats that I have in the truck don't work for that with the exception of one and that's Bosch's BCC 100. So that worked out perfectly. I helped him with the app because he's an older gentleman and he's going to play around with it, play around with the scheduling, but I'll show you the thermostat mounted on the wall. So here's the old one and here's the new. Hole right there from the old uh, Molly, but here we are. So nice controls, different uh, menu options, but actually you could even look at the weather. But yeah, it's cool. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, it was very, very nice seeing uh, that fault. As soon as I saw that fault on that thermostat and heard the customer describe his issues, I was like, oh, this is gonna be amazing. It's just gonna be the thermostat. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough day. It was just, it felt so hot and trying to get everything done. Um, it's a little bit tough because Peter doesn't know how to do certain things uh, like uh, the electric or uh, you can't do the refrigerant stuff. Um, we need to teach him how to like do vacuum and pressure tests and everything. Uh, so it was a little frustrating having to run back and forth inside, outside to do all the main things, but we got it done. Um, uh, leave any advice or criticisms or feedback in the comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching.